So what's the first thing that you do when that alarm clock rings? Do you hit that snooze button? Do you get up and mosey on in your day without really having a plan? If you look at the most successful people, they're obviously doing something different from the least successful person out there. So what type of person are you? Are you the person that hits the snooze button, dozes off, or are you the type to get up and really conquer your morning? My name is Manif Ali and I'm a self-made millionaire. It started in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses as well as own dozens of properties here in Southern California. I've closed billions of dollars in sales so I know a little bit about what millionaires do to make them successful and I'm here to empower you so that you can obtain the financial and the personal development goals that you've been seeking. My purpose is only to teach you and provide you wisdom and direction. And so today we're gonna be talking about the daily habits of all these cool people out there, the people that you look up to, the people that are really making the cheddar, you know, the people that you're admiring. This is just an example. So the young Elon Musk read at least 10 hours a day. I don't know what type of social life he had growing up, but you can imagine how successful he has become by utilizing these things. And that's not just the CEO of Tesla. Bill Gates as well would read up to a couple of hours a day just working on a treadmill and he still continues to take weeks off at a time, seclude himself in a private cabin where he reads multiple books in a week. See, developing habits not only helps your intelligence but creates manageability and responsibility in your life. It helps people cope with daily expectations and challenges that you might face with regard to even mental health when you're on the grind constantly. Look, millionaires and billionaires and even unsuccessful people, we all have 24 hours, but what really sets people apart is their routine. And it's not just a daily routine, but what are you doing in the morning? According to scientific study done by Philippa Lally, a health psychologist and researcher from the University of London, it takes more than two months to establish a habit and become what I call autopilot. That's 66 days. I know there's plenty of other schools of thought, but I've tried this and it literally has taken me up to a couple of months to establish a habit. The length might vary according to what your behavior is and what your circumstances are. Like if you've got a house full of children, it's hard to establish a real habit. So anywhere from 18 days to 254 days for an individual to establish a good habit. How many days will it take you? Well, how willing are you to try? My advice is to start off at least with a morning routine and gradually with increments add on until you've got a whole day filled with routines. Now that doesn't mean you're gonna be bored. It's about establishing routines only in the areas of focus that you really wanna grow in. So like I said, it's never easy, but at least after putting into practice every single day, you eventually get to a level where that autopilot kicks in. Mostly all millionaires practice writing and journaling. It's really, really important that you write it down. And if you write it down mentally, it just really helps you click in. I'm a firm believer in visiting your goals daily. If you don't visit your goals daily, guess what? Your goals don't visit you. It's about assessing your performance and constantly looking at areas where you need to improve. Taking notes of essential lessons and quotes of books you've read, things you've watched on YouTube, things that are going to inspire you, constantly refocusing every single day and tracking your income as well as important, as well as your expenditures. And when you start to do that on a daily basis, everything starts to come alive. You're taking the stuff that's in your brain constantly whirling around and putting it on paper. It introduces the most important factor, which is accountability and itemizing your goals and keeping your intentions in track into becoming a better person in the long run. Millionaires have a think week. According to Mark Rosenkind of Alertness Solutions, productivity of returning vacationers increased 40% in just his study alone. Thinking is how most millionaires really assess that secret part of their brain that gives them new ideas and gives them creativity. Bill Gates, like I was saying earlier, if you watch his documentary, he actually takes a week or two off, goes off to a secluded cabin, and then away from all the gadgets, and he's only there with a whole bunch of thick books that he reads and he processes. That's how he continuously stays in the top of his field. An Ernest and Young study done in 2006 shows that for every additional 10 hours of vacation an employee took, his or her performance rating went up by 8%, nearly 1% per day of vacation. So think about that. If you took 14 days off, you could come back 14% better. Now, you have to be able to utilize some sense in making sure that you're not partying all the time during your vacation. 
Now, before I tell you the next thing, if this kind of content that I'm giving you is giving you a great amount of value, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure to that like and subscribe button and let the algorithm know that this is a value so we can continue to make great content together. Millionaires make friends and connections. Their net worth is just as important as their network. This habit gives them a sense of work and life balance by meeting new people, by challenging yourself to make friends with people you're uncomfortable with, by learning what other people do. They're constantly growing the amount of people they know. People you choose to spend time with contribute to who you are. And think about that. The importance of making this a daily habit rather than just being away by yourself, practice the art of being able to connect with people. In a study published by the American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, good daily habits that develop during the early stages of an individual determine their success throughout life. So if you're a parent, an uncle, a grandparent, you can always constantly try to apply a little bit of direction to people young, younger than you, because the younger they are, the more chances of success if they establish habits. You don't have to exactly be a millionaire to do this, these things in your daily life, but try to find good habits and replace the bad ones. The routines that you start today clearly are going to get you better for tomorrow. Leave a comment if you like all of the tips or if you wanna share some helpful habit building ones as well with other people. I'm always open to suggestions. In the next video, I talk about the three habits that are keeping you poor and how to fix it. Go ahead and click this video next.